Hey, this is Rick from In Front of IT. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up SSH on Ubuntu 22.04. SSH, which stands for Secure Shell, is a widely used network protocol that provides a secure way to access and manage remote systems. In fact, it's one of the most widely used protocols, if not the most widely used protocol for remote access on the internet. It also provides other functionality such as file transfers, remote administration, tunneling, and capabilities like logging and telemetry. But if you're watching this video, you're probably already familiar with what SSH is, you just wanna know how to set it up. So let's not waste any more time, let's get in front of it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just test and see if we have SSH installed. So we do that by running the command SSH. Now, when you run the command SSH, that's actually the client that you're running. So you're trying to start a client to connect to a remote server using the SSH protocol. So let's do that. We can see typing in the command, we do have the SSH client installed. And as you can see, just typing in the SSH command by itself with no parameters, just gives you all the options that the SSH client has and what you can use to connect. What we're gonna be doing is trying to test whether we have SSH installed on the system or not by connecting to what's called localhost. And localhost is basically a loopback IP address that allows you to test TCP IP connectivity without having to go out to the internet. It was basically used for local connections. Also any applications that need to communicate with the system itself can use this localhost address, which is 127.0.0.1. And as you can see, pinging it, we get a response. Now trying to connect to that local IP address, we get a connection refused. And as we can see from this highlighted portion, what it, SSH is trying to connect to is the local host IP address over port 22. And what port 22 is, is the standard TCP port for SSH. And without going into too much detail, TCP IP has 65,536 ports available and each of those ports can be used by a process. Port 22 is used by SSH. And when you see connection refused, that means that right now nothing is listening on that port 22 to receive the connection that SSH tried to do. And this is expected because we haven't installed SSH yet. So now we're going to go ahead and do that. And we install open SSH server by running the command sudo apt install open SSH server. And there's nothing here we haven't seen before. It's going to ask you for your password because we use sudo and this is a privileged operation. Then it's going to list the package and some dependencies that are needed for the package and ask you a yes, no. Typing yes, it'll go ahead and download, then install the packages. Then after it does that, it's gonna configure the actual SSH D service, which is the binary that runs that is for SSH server. So it's creating the SSH keys that are needed for the service, and also creating sim links, which are enabling the service to be able to start up on boot time it's gonna do that for you automatically. After that, it will come back to the command line. Now, at the command line, we're gonna check the status of the SSH service and make sure that it got installed correctly. We'll do that by using the systemctl command and typing systemctl status SSH. When we run that and hit enter, we see that the service is running. And if we look at the lines at the bottom, we can see that it started on IP address 0000, which means it's listening on all IP addresses 
over port 22, which is the standard port for SSH. Time to test SSH and see how it works. We're going to do that by connecting from the system itself to the SSH service on the server. And we do that by typing in the command SSH, which is the command we went over before, and connecting to localhost, which is the system itself. And what we get is kind of a warning message saying that the authenticity of the host can't be established. And this is normal because this is the first time this SSH client is connecting to anything and it doesn't have a record of that key you see in the second line that's highlighted. So once you type in yes and confirm that it's the host you want to connect to, it will save that key and it wouldn't ask you about this again. So typing in the full word yes, not just why, you then get a request for the system password and that's going to be the same password that I use to log into the system. And typing in the password and hitting enter, we get the welcome message. And then we get to a command prompt similar to the terminal prompt I was just in. And that verifies that SSH is working. And to exit out of this SSH session, you just hit exit. We're back to the original terminal that we connected from previously. So that verifies that we can connect to the local host IP, 127.0.0.1. The real value of SSH is connecting to this system from other remote systems. And to do that, we need to verify that we can connect to the actual IP address of the system. To do that, we'll type in the IP space A command. And what that does is list all the interfaces and their associated IP addresses on the system. Doing that, we find the interface that's used for no network connectivity, which in this case is interface number two, ENP7S0. And the associated IP address there, which I'm highlighting, is 10.0.2.129. You can ignore the slash 24 part, that's just the subnet. So that's the IP we're going to connect to using the SSH client. And to do that, just replace localhost with the IP address. Doing that and hitting enter, you see we get the same message again. But this time, instead of saying localhost, it has the IP address that we just tried to connect to. But the key thing here is that we're seeing that the key fingerprint in the second line, just take my word for it, that key is the same, which means that we are definitely connecting to the same host that we did when we typed in SSH localhost. So again, typing yes, it asks for the password and typing in the password, you get your welcome message. The same message as you can imagine, since it's the same system. And at the end of the message, you can see that it says the last login was from localhost itself, which is the last SSH connection we did. And with that, we've successfully configured SSH on your Ubuntu system. As I mentioned in the intro to this video, SSH is extensively used in the internet for all types of remote administration, remote connecting to Linux based systems. There's even SSH daemons for windows. So this is a great way to get started with this protocol on Ubuntu. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you want to see regarding SSA, such as securing it, locking it down, setting up tunneling. There's a lot of things that can be done with SSH. This is Rick from In Front of IT, signing out.